Jump de jump jump jump. Right. Right like okay, or right like right? <laughs> Next time right should be right. <laughs> Good evening, ladies. <laughs> <gasps> My happy sunrise breakfast is going to fix you two right up. Ah! Bit jittery this morning, I see. Jittery? What makes you think that? <gasps> What's wrong with you two? I've never seen you so afraid. Zelda had a dream. Only it wasn't a dream. It was real. And it was about Tim the Witch Smeller. Who smells? No! Tim the Witch Smeller. He hunts down witches for his own private trophy collection, and we could be next! What's this guy got against witches? Show her! Egg from a chicken. Milk from a cow. Sugar and spice. Make the past appear now. That's the Witch Smeller? He doesn't look very scary. Don't judge him just by his looks. Tim was born a complete freak. Even though his mother was a witch, he had no magical powers and never would. He was no better than a mortal. Knock it off. Or you'll be sorry. <laughs> what are you going to do? Not cast a spell on us? <laughs> <laughs> Witches can be so cruel. Uh, present company accepted, of course. With his only friend in the world, an aardvark named Elton, Tim left home, vowing revenge on all witches. He decided to use the power of science against witchcraft. He worked as an apprentice under one of the most brilliant thinkers of the day, Da Vinci. But Tim stole Da Vinci's inventions and modified them for his own twisted revenge. Tim's advanced his technology over the years, and with all of his tricks and traps, Well, if Tim the Smell Master comes poking around, leave him to me in Salem. We'll take care of him. Right, Salem? Salem? <laughs> Say cheese! You're on America's cruelest practical jokes. And watch your back, America. You never know when we might be coming to your town. <laughs> the guy's a mudhead. Classic. Adults are so gullible. I heard when we're born, we have all our brain cells. We lose them as we get older, so we're never really getting smarter, only dumber. That sure explains my ants. The secret to that show is not to act surprised when they spring the weird stuff on you. Don't freak, and you won't look like a doofus. A pocket funhouse mirror? You always got the coolest job. Uh oh Better give me that, Harvey. You don't want people saying you're conceited. Oh, check it out. Wow, cool. That's your dad's soul gem amulet. It holds a little of the magical essence from every witch and warlock that has ever worn it. Is it me? Too retro. Besides, it belongs to my dad, and he has a hands-off rule when it comes to his stuff. Lunch is served. Come and get it. Hmm. Maybe I'll just try it on. What could happen? Uh-oh. Uh, Uncle Quigley, what smells so bad? Camouflage. When does a witch not smell like a witch? When she smells like a dumpster? Exactly. This is our own recipe of garlic, rotten eggs, sardines, 
and stinky cheese. Now Tim will never come near us. He's not the only one. Ah, uh, no time for lunch. Gotta go. Huh? Oh, my, Harvey left his backpack. That boy would forget his feet if they weren't attached to his ankles. I can still catch him. You smell a witch, don't you, precious? The nose knows. The question now is, which witch will it be? I know. I'll just soap up and slip it over. Always works when I get my head caught in the banister. Ooh, my, my, Elton. You must be a powerful warlock indeed for you to get so feisty. You shall be the crowning glory of my embarrassingly huge collection of captured witches. <laughs> I find evil so invigorating. Let me go. Is this some kind of a... Cruel practical joke? Holy monkeys, I'm on America's cruelest practical jokes! Harvey! Harvey! <gasps> hey! Oh no! You were right! See? We told you! Right about what? Tim, the witch smeller, he's here! <gasps> Guess dreams really do come true. Oh dear, does that mean one day I'll go running through the produce section wearing nothing but a belt of radishes? He captured Harvey! Are you sure? Tim hunts only witches and warlocks. Harvey's only a mortal. Who'd want him? Only a mortal? It so happens some of my best friends are mortal. Yeah, yeah, Quig. Tim must think Harvey's a warlock. Why? Oh no! Harvey! Radishes? Just never you mind. Oh no, the soul gem! It's gone. Harvey must have it. The magical essence from that amulet would be enough to fool that idiot aardvark into thinking... That Harvey's a warlock. Well, perhaps we should... Only one thing to do. Start, Start packing. packing! Packing? We have to rescue Harvey. We'll just zap Tim with a couple of spells from the spooky jar and... Tim has a spell scrambler. It, it jumbles up all our spells, making them useless. Fine. If you two won't help, I'll do it myself. The only place you're going is to your room to pack. Let me go! Ow! No! Look at all this stuff. Who directs your show, James Cameron? You think I could get a t-shirt or something when we're all done? When we're all done, I'll have your head mounted on my wall. Perhaps a souvenir baseball cap would be more in order. <laughs> Whatever. TV people are weird. Going somewhere? Do you have any idea how dangerous the witch smeller is? I don't care. Harvey needs me. <clears throat> oh, I'm going with you. You're the best. Yeah, yeah. I'm a four-legged Santa Claus. Now, how do we bust out of here? Santa Claus, you're a genius. <laughs> Ow! My spine! I borrowed this from Aunt Hilda's spellbook. It's a tracking spell. Show me true no hiccups or glitches, the path less tried by the smeller of witches. It's true. The dumber the rhyme, the cooler the spell. Sabrina's gone. And there's a tracking spell missing from my spell book. I'll get the car. Maybe it's best if you leave this to us witches. After all, if a witch can't defeat Tim, what chance does a mere mortal have? What chance does a mere mortal have? Dagnab, this isn't about witches or mortals. It's about family. Great! 
Great, the Rocky Horror Dream House. Special effects. And so the delicious finish draws near. <laughs> I was gonna ask if we could move things along. Cause if I don't get this amulet back to my friend Sabrina, I'm gonna get totally busted. <laughs> amulet? A soul gem! <laughs> So you're not a warlock! Intruders! Oh, how am I supposed to get any work done? Are you... all right? Of course we're not all right, you little brat! How'd you like to be stuck in some dusty wall for hundreds of years? Leave the girl alone. She didn't put us up here. Easy for you to be nice. You don't have spiders laying eggs in your ear. I'm looking for a cute young guy with dark brown hair and a dreamy smile. Aren't we all, honey? Get us out of here! Where's the rest of you? Stuck in some parallel dimension. Tim used that witch trap of his to turn us all into living trophies. Glad to hear you're all getting along so well, because you're going to be spending a lot of time together. Whoa. Now it's my turn. Ah! 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 <laughs> Poor darling. What have you done with Harvey? Nothing. He's no warlock. But he will make a lovely servant. <laughs> Whereas you two magical so-and-sos will make fine additions to my permanent collection. <laughs> I told you he was all washed up. <laughs> what? Some great witch hunter. This guy couldn't catch a cold and frost in the snowman's armpit. I caught you, didn't I? Nope. We came to you. Major diff. She's right! You're losing your touch, witch smeller. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, witchling. I shall give you a five-minute head start. If you can elude me until sundown, you all go free. If not, I keep you all. Agreed? You're on, twerp. You go, go! Which way? Down and out of sight. That detour should throw him off for a while. I wouldn't count on that! <laughs> oh, no. Don't suppose you'd want to try for best two out of three? <laughs> Long time no smell, Timmy. Still taking your vacuum cleaner for walks, I see. <laughs> it's time to turn you into a frog, you toad. <laughs> Rain and cheese. Hallelujah. What? No! <laughs> You seem to have forgotten the power of my spell scrambler. <laughs> a crucial error in tactics. For a non-witch, this guy can sure cause a lot of trouble. Run now, talk later. <laughs> Something tells me he's upset. Greendale Mall? Home field advantage. Nobody cannot maneuver me in a mall. Sabrina! 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 
Is the apocalypse upon us? Tune in at six to find out. Bingo. I despise minivans. We'd better get the innocent bystanders out of danger. Cream of mushroom gumbo chowder. Make these people take a powder. In a mall, no crowds, but no time to shop. I'm getting even with that witch smeller if it's the last thing I do. Here comes your chance. Ha! Ah, oh, shoot. Leave that aardvark to me. Get out of here. Aha! Uh -huh. Hot, extra hot, I chihuahua. Aha! Uh -huh. That's it, Fido. Follow your nose. <laughs> That'll teach you to keep your nose out of other people's business. Elton, what have they done to you? As long as he's got that scrambler, our spells are totally useless. Who needs magic? We're in a mall! You're talking some mega cavities there. These aren't for chewing, they're for spewing. Uh -huh. You're not the kind to hold a grudge, are you? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <clears throat> I have you now. We won fair and square. Why should I play fair with you? You witches never played fair with me. <gasps> me you're a mortal don't you see how horrible these witches are that's a load of hooey sure maybe a group of witches excluded you hundreds of years ago but that's got nothing to do with these girls they've never lifted a finger against you no you don't understand old man witches are all alike you horse feathers everybody's an individual responsible for their own actions i judge people by what they say and do not by skin color or sex or nationality or whether they happen to have magic powers goodness you are so right ladies please accept my most abject apologies well he does seem sorry i am you can show me the error of my ways in eternity! <laughs> oh no! Some people never get it. You haven't seen the <laughs> to be honest, I wasn't too crazy about seeing the first of you. <laughs> a 
Uncle Quigley, you saved us. Not bad. For a mortal. This mortal happened to have pulled your collective fannies out of the fire. I'd remember that next time you witches get all highfalutin. That's the kind of attitude that creates people like the witch smeller. Mortal? Oh no, Harvey! Is this thing ever gonna come off? It has a weird class. Here. Looks like America's Cruelest Jokes really went all out this time. Yeah, but they didn't fool me for one second. I always knew what was going on. Sure you did. Thanks! I thought we were gonna be stuck on that wall forever. So, what happened to Tim and Elton? No, no, to the left. It's my nose that itches, you stupid beast, not my eye! I'll get you, Sabrina Spellman! Do you hear me? I'll have my revel! Wow! I certainly hope you remember to wash that thing. Thank you.